Yeah, maybe a little bit because it's hard to tell what's happening. Yeah, like look it up by your head. There you go. <laughs> the best part of my job is being with kids. I teach eighth grade science and they are fun. Oh, all right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And then I did. What drives me to create a good student experience every day for my kids is I remember when I was a high school student um, here in PSD, my biology teacher brought in like karyotypes of her children and I remember just the excitement she had of seeing the, the chromosomes of her children and I thought that was so cool and I remember I was so into science and it was an awesome feeling and I want my kids to experience that too. To get that great student experience, I do try to include a lot of hands-on experiments, getting kids involved in the science that they're doing, whether it's building something or doing chemical reactions, but seeing science hands-on instead of just talking about it in theory, I think gets kids super excited and into what we're doing in class. So sometimes as a teacher, there is a student who maybe isn't grasping the content that I'm teaching. It does take a little more effort on my side to get them to understand the content and to get them excited about it. But it's so amazing in the end when they do get it and they have that aha moment and they finally understand, it kind of pulls it all together and I think we both have a great time. My goal for students is to impart on them just a love of learning. I want them to be excited when they come to school that they're going to learn stuff because there are days where we're in class and it doesn't seem like you'll ever need to know this, but when they realize that there is that real world application and they see it come up, and I hope that they take that love of learning with them through high school and beyond.